apologies for the month off, but it's back to what happened on my universe mode with SmackDown Live. It's still SmackDown Live with us, damn it. And we were live in Kansas City, Kansas for an exciting edition of SmackDown where we start the SmackDown Champions League. Two groups of four and the winners of each group take each other on in the final to decide who takes on the SmackDown World Champ or the World Champion at WrestleMania. We start off in Block A with AJ Styles versus Drew McIntyre. Styles initially had the advantage with a neck breaker and a couple of brain busters, but Drew finally got a reversal and hit a huge sit-out pile driver before nipping up AJ Styles into a belly-to-belly -belly and jumping on him with a Lufez press, giving him a few thumps to the noggin. Big Drew continued with a whoop ass slam, but after that AJ Styles grabbed him, lifted him up for a huge powerbomb, and as he got up, AJ Styles hit him with a DDT, followed by an enziguri, and then locking in the calf crusher, but it was too close to the ropes once again. Breaking out of the crusher was reinvigorating to Drew McIntyre, who caught AJ Styles' kick, gave him a big clothesline, a Glasgow kiss, and a dirty German suplex. After a knee to the back of the head, he went for a slam on AJ Styles, but Styles reversed, gave him a clothesline to the back, and once McIntyre was back up, he hit him with a phenomenal forearm. He went for the pin, and he got the free count, even though I swear I stopped it on the red there. Either way, AJ Styles was victorious and gets the early advantage in Block A. We headed over to Block B for the second match of the evening as former world champion Big Show was looking to get his title back, starting off his group stage against the great Eddie Guerrero. And it would be Eddie that got the early advantage, hitting a European uppercut and then a crazy arm drag. Big Show tried to get a shot in, but Guerrero ducked and instead stomped on his face. Eddie Guerrero went on a drop kick frenzy with a standard top rope missile and then springboard missile before the Big Show tried to roll to the outside, but while he was on the apron, he got hit to the outside by Eddie Guerrero, who then dived on the big man. Latino Heat then went on the offense on the outside, hitting a head scissors. They went back in the ring, and that's when Big Show had had enough. He slammed Eddie Guerrero down with a sidewalk slam before slamming him down with a standard slam. Before kicking him in the face and stepping on him, he lifted him up for the alley-oop. But that would be enough for him as Eddie Guerrero caught the Big Show's next kick and took him down with a dragon screw. Guerrero then ran at the Big Show with a spinning heel kick and went straight to the top rope where he came down with a frog splash, nailing the big move and nailing the win. One, two, three, Eddie Guerrero gets the first win in Block B and we stay in Block B for the other match in the group with Kofi Kingston against Shinsuke Nakamura. The match began with Nakamura hitting a stiff knee to Kofi's gut, but after that we went counter crazy as Kofi ducked a clothesline and hit one of his own before Shinsuke Nakamura and wriggled out and slapped Kofi away. He went for a kick, but Kofi ducked and swept Nakamura down before Nakamura caught Kofi's kick and finally caught the advantage. He hit a full forward suplex and then a chop block. Nakamura then smashed Kofi in the face with a big forearm but was Irish whipped after that and Kofi Kingston took some advantage of a backbreaker, a spinning kick and a double chop. After a knee drop Shinsuke Nakamura was able to reverse out once again and he hit Kofi with a huge knee off the second rope followed by a side suplex. Despite all this Kofi reversed once more with an elbow and flipped himself into a nice looking DDT. He hit Nakamura with the boom drop and went for a slam but that slam was reversed. Nakamura pushed him away, smashed him with the Oshigaroshi and then drilled a Kinshasa knee straight to his face. He went for the pin and Kofi was down and Nakamura shares top spot in block B with Eddie Guerrero after week one. Following the match, Kofi offered a handshake to the artist which was gladly accepted and nicely done. We get a bit of sportsmanship in the SmackDown Champions League. We end the Champions League matches of this show with the other match from Block A. And it's a big one. It's best friend versus best friend, one time brother versus one time brother. It's Christian versus Edge. Christian got the opening offense in in this match, first with a float over neckbreaker, followed by a standard neckbreaker. He lifted up Edge onto his shoulders and 
threw him down to his knees before lifting him onto his shoulders once more but this time Edge was ready for him giving him a few elbows to the side of the head once he was suitably stunned Edge hit him with a float over DDT the rated R superstar picked up his fake brother for a big suplex he put him down with a big DDT dropped him with a flatliner and hit a northern light suplex before picking him up for the elevated DDT. After that though, Christian dodged his punch and picked him up once again, this time with a flapjack. Captain Charisma picked Edge up and chucked him to the outside where he would hit another flapjack, this time to the concrete floor, but that was not gonna stop Edge. He came up and reversed, hitting a second Impaler DDT, got the name right that time, and a second Northern Light Suplex, this time on the outside, and eventually when Christian was able to get back in the ring, Edge pounced on him with a spear and got the pinfall victory. And Edge shares top spot in block A with AJ Styles after week one. We'll see what happens in week two next time on SmackDown but we've got some promo time to be had with new US champion Cesaro after he beat AJ Styles thanks to the 24-7 rule last time he said something bad about Kansas City but he was soon interrupted by Andrade of all people possibly making his debut I'm not sure if we've seen him on the universe mode yet but he came out looking all excitable and he started going off at Cesaro, calling him a big shot. Cesaro hoped that Andrade was bringing something new to the table, and Andrade then retorted by saying that he's trapped in the ring, and the only way out is through him. Cesaro gave in, saying if a fight's what you want, a fight's what you'll get, and apparently up until that point, Andrade was almost going to let him off the hook. He called him a loser, a waste of space, a bad investment. Cesaro seemed to change his tune, though, and eventually decided he couldn't be bothered to fight with Andrade right now and instead went chow so instead of a match between the two or a fight we got a bait and switch so WWE on to our main event and it is the Staten Island Princess Carmella taking on the Smackdown Women's Champion Ronda Rousey Ronda Rousey went out the traps like a wild animal, hitting a big punch to Carmella, an angle slam, a gut wrench powerbomb, and then she pounced on her, took her down, and wailed on her face. After that, Rousey hit a hurricane runner on Carmella, followed by a superplex and a shithouse rock bottom. The baddest woman on the planet then rolled Carmella to the mat before rolling her back up and drilling her down with Piper's pit. She picked her back up and locked in a sleeper hold and Carmella, while she held on for a while, was not able to hold on for too much longer. She tapped out, gave up, passed out, whatever you want to call it, and Ronda Rousey was your winner. She didn't have too much time to celebrate though as Becky Lynch came in the ring and smashed her in the face with a forearm. But Ronda Rousey was apparently done fighting for tonight. Instead, she walked out and celebrate on the outside and that's it for another edition of what happened on my universe mode like and subscribe evolution next